Keep waiting on the key waiting. The behemoth steamer is stuck in the muck of the harbor in Douglas, and it won't be moved until at least tomorrow. 24-hour news aide Steve Kelso was there all day listening as crews tried to figure out the problem and a solution. He's live in Douglas tonight with more. Steve? Yeah, good evening, Sue. You know, it's been it's been a boat for 105 years, so what's a couple more days? But it would appear now that it's even despite some dredging earlier this fall, it's just stuck in there. But I'll tell you what, it sure didn't keep hundreds from coming out today to check it out. It's a good day today. Well, it was supposed to be, but convincing a 350-foot, 4,000-ton, 105-year-old lady to move? Well, it's hard. I'm 17 years old. Today, I was unlucky in the fact that I worked on here for a year. And even though he lost that job, he still sounds just like the tour guide. What was this used for on the Great Lakes at one time? This was actually a passenger ship. It was always in Canadian waters. By 7 a.m., hundreds had come to bid Bon Voyage. It looks like it's leaning. It does look like it's leaning now. When I was younger, in the 60s, by the way, I uh, toured the ship with my grandmother for the first time. The middle of the tugboat and pushed straight in. But by mid-afternoon, it looked like she was not moving. Trying to get her just out here. Get the plan. Lack of progress never concerned Ian Shanahan. He was still doing his old job. Yep, it's 105 years old this summer. Seven hours of tugging and one scrapped plan later. The boss says we'll get her done tomorrow. I, I would say tomorrow's the day, yep. <laughs> Barring any, you know, a storm or something. Sure. You said today was the day. I know, but I'm like a, any politician. I'm running for office, you know. I couldn't change <laughs> my mind. <laughs> He is not a politician. He's Roland Peterson. He's the man who originally bought the key waiting to Saugatuck back in 1967. Now here's the plan for tomorrow. They're going to bring out a separate kind of barge. It's got big arms on it. They're going to stick those in the water and hopefully then they'll be able to use that barge as a pivot point to get it out here. All that's going to kick off again bright and early and of course we'll be right back out here. Live in Saugatuck, Steve Kelso, 24 Hour News 8.